into his world and using you for your benefits, and he's the only one winning. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to get you for my benefit, but I'm going to say it's to really help you. But I'm not really helping you. Yeah, that's a boss. And what, what because if I really help business? you, I still be pushing my artist yeah. music. Versus a leader who's trying, trying to help, help you out. Yeah, no, a leader trying to better everybody around. If he try to better himself and does do bettering himself, everybody gets better around him. A boss would. Uh, he don't really care if you're the hierarchy of a business. Like, yeah, and he don't care about your self development. Nah. He just is here to make sure you get the job done. I want the most out of you in the position you in. I really don't want you to move up. Oh, God, I got to pay you more. Oh, God, I want you to be better than the job that you're at. That's a leader. I want you to just do the job. That's a boss. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get my artists and move them away from their detriment. But Not this really. is what I'm going to be doing. Mm -hmm. I just want to say this. I've been working with over 50 I'm just gonna say I've been working with over 50 think, men. Think uh, Chief Keith. Think a little Dirk. Whoever was managing at the uh, managing managing them whenever they moved from uh, Chicago to LA. I forget where Dirk had moved, uh, but it doesn't matter. The concept is like whoever was managing them, leading them, uh, mentoring them young men at that time knew right that here. they would be better off out of Chicago. It was too much shit going on. Yeah, they was fucking. The Lee. biggest hood celebrities of all time, but Bro. shit, that shit was only gonna last so long for a nigga try to take you off the top just on some hate and shit. Like, you don't gotta be from Chicago, any inner city, you know, once you reach a certain level of popularity and you still out there. If it was safe for Dirk, you. if it was safe for Dirk and her bar out in Chicago for real, for they could go out there and do like 30K, 50K shows a night. Yeah. All week, all month. Y'all see, Chief Cape just came back to Chicago to do SummerSlam, I think for like the first time in 10 years. Mm. First time in 10 years. Finally trust that security, boy. You seen that security he had? Mm -hmm. Boy, that security was A1. They wasn't going to try him. Who all body when they was kids. And these kids, and, the, and these men still kind of childlike in their mind because they got locked up at 14, 15, 16. And they just now coming home in their 40s. Damn. They just they still kid like in their mind. They don't tolerate disrespect. I became a centerpiece for these men. And I just want to say, homie, only one of them been back to prison. Mm. My homie Big O, Broderick Baptiste out of Gals. He caught three more murders after he got out. Well. But he didn't do all them decades ah, in prison damn. neither. That so I'm had, with a group of men who turned into YNW uh YNW Mel. He got murder on his mind and shit. God, real quick. Like, like, God damn. Yeah, nigga said three more, not one, not two, two. but three. Nah, that nigga had a list. Oh, fuck all that. I ain't bro. gonna lie. Who he had a that list. <laughs> he said when I get out, I'm, I'm only coming for y'all niggas. All three or all, all three of them. Ain't nobody going back. Because when they got out, they saw what I was doing. Mm. And, 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 and the reason I'm saying this is because I'm trying to show you the difference between a leader and a boss. Facts. A leader is someone who focuses on self-improving themselves. While I'm focusing on self-improving me as the leader, I'm making other people around me better because I'm making me better. Mm -hmm. So as the head and the top gets better, everything below gets better. Yep. When mama and Thanks. daddy start changing their life, the children's lives start to change. When yeah, you ever thought that like most educated children come from a household where both the parents are educated? Yeah, that's true. Like rich kids, well, rich people sometimes came from a household where the parents may not be rich, but they were smart with their money. Yeah, that's true. He's like, yeah, when the parents were good at doing things, the kid became even better at doing what the parents practiced. That's why you better yourself as a leader, as a parent, or at the head of a household, so those under you can prosper as well. Now, I love that point specifically you made about earning and financial literacy, because I think you can match it to the statistics directly to, you know, an uh, individual being more... Uh, Money smart, you know, coming yep. from a household where their parents might have been business owners, might have, you know, been uh, in the real estate. It just had some dealings with money. And you kind of grew up noticing the differences or you grew up and were taught the importance of money and earning oh, yeah. and spending and saving, investing, all that Credit good stuff. Credit and all that good stuff. Yep, yep, fix, fix. But yeah, it usually comes from your parents. And if your parents weren't good with it, usually nine times yeah, out of ten, you ain't just going to pop you're out. You're not. Yeah, exactly. All this But knowledge. mama get right, the kids get right. When daddy get better, the house get better. How you going to tell me?
These kids are coming from the broken community, the mm. broken family. You got this woman, you got this man who looks to have a perfect marriage, but everything under the homie, that's a, that show from up top. Homie, you don't see them doing nothing once they sign a 1017. Only Pooh Shiesty. And, and even Fugiano. when he first signed, he stayed on the internet. But, but Pooh Shiesty had the best run. Yeah. Pooh Shiesty had the most push. Mm -hmm. He he them there pulling the like all the revenue if I would believe right. Yeah. Right. They're beefing with the, the locals, homie. Yeah, pretty sure. Come on, my nigga. His wife wants y'all to believe this fairy tale that facade that they saved two million dollars and it, when he got out, she flipped the money. That's the biggest lie in the world, homie. So, okay. He Gucci's married. He he doesn't do drugs anymore. He's not in the streets anymore. Hold on, hold on. Enchanting, she left 1017 a whole year ago. How does this fall? How does this? Oh, so, how so, does this that's what I'm saying. No, no, yeah, that's what I'm saying, though. She left. I, you know, I said that in the beginning. Like, yeah, even though she left, why does she leave? Why does she feel comfortable under the leadership of this so called high value black man? Okay, this well, hood nigga black man. Why did she not feel comfortable under that leadership? Because she wasn't getting good guidance. She's seen her career not going nowhere. She's seen that she was just getting finessed. I can agree with that point. No, fully. But uh, can we still fault him for her death? At now, that point? Mm, I'm going to be real with you. Is he still culpable? I'm going to be real with you. It kind of goes both ways. Because, of course, she lived a lifestyle and all that good stuff. But let's be real. If Gucci Man would have really put that guidance as he's supposed to. Because think about it, we're talking about an OG nigga, bro. We're talking about OG. Because I promise you, if this was like a businessman, a well-to-do man, they would put that on the on you as, I'm be real with you, if you had a mentor, let's say, I mean, let's say you you were had an apprentice and you're a mentor. If you're meant to go out there and do some fuck shit as a man, you damn near have to take responsibility for that. It's the same thing with him. Your apprentice went out there, you put this girl under your wing, she ran out there and did drugs, whored herself out, and ended up dying. No, I got you. Devil's advocate, though. I'm yeah. just throwing the caveat of, even in the apprentice uh, mentor situation, we've cut ties, and it's been a year. Am I am I liable for what he goes and does? Well, I'm going to be real with you. She was under somebody who's an expert in the game, right? Sure. And you went out there, right? And you made these decisions in the game and ended up dying? Yeah, it kind of sounds like you had terrible leadership. Okay. Like, think about it. If somebody went up under me for business, right? And all of a sudden they go out there and they just bankrupt themselves into oblivion, that would look pretty bad on me. Even if they cut ties with me, they were still one of my students or one of my apprentices. It's going to come back. I can see back. a point. I can see a point there. Well, you know, but I do hear it though. I do hear it. Although she wasn't there no more and all that. Well, maybe there's a reason why she wasn't there. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so, Gucci, maybe so, Gucci so, ain't want the crash. Who said that? I, I, oh, wait, I don't even fuck with Gucci for real. I'm just keeping it. I'm just saying it from my opinion. Like, so you saying whatever abuse and trauma she went through. So y'all must be ignoring all the text messages that coming out from two years ago, a year ago, when she saying she was being abused by Big Scar, being beat on by Big Scar. Mm. Oh, word. Yeah. That's what I said. Certain things was going under, underneath that man's leadership that forced her out. Something was going on. I'm thinking about it. You're signing with big rapper Gucci Man. What woman is signing to her hood nigga fantasy and want to leave, my nigga? And it's possibly getting dicked down by that nigga. Come on now. Shit. That, that girl don't want to leave. By Gucci himself? Come on now. There had been something that was going on. You don't think something. Gucci see these niggas high when they coming around? You don't think he looking at their social media pages? We can all look at their social media pages I agree with and you tell. On that. I agree with you on that. Mm. She got text messages going being released locally where she was being beat on. They releasing text messages where she was begging for help. Mm. But okay. she was in a room all the time, homie. Y'all girls feel so safe around these hood niggas because they're aggressive and protective. Man. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, no, no, but uh, guys like us, though, we're Uncle Tom's, though. Yeah, we're the creeps and all that. Okay. That nigga can't control his emotions with a man. What makes you think he ain't gonna snap on you for talking back? Mm. He'll get your ass to people's elbow. Yeah. Ugh, and talking bitch. back to a man is that he's, he's, he's more in danger. Chin, sweet chin music for your ass. And he's the thing about a man's more in danger talking crazy to a man. So if he's doing it to a man, just imagine what he'll do to you. He so kill you. how yeah. can y'all I mean, unalive? 
It's no different than Cassie. Mm. When everything come out afterwards, it's no different, my nigga. So he don't take no blame. He got all these little kids around him. He don't take no blame. Not, not, Let not a kid one. die around me. Let a kid die around a football coach. They're going to take all the blame. Let the kids get in trouble at school. They blame the teachers. Oh, what well, a school system. So you mean to tell me he don't get no blame? That's what I'm saying. If something is under your guidance, under your leadership, under your supervision at a certain point, yeah, it is your responsibility about what happened. Well, I would go back in and say that I could agree with the perspective of whatever happened while she was under 10, 17 could have a lasting effect. And there could be some trauma from that that kind of led into her addiction and ultimately her, you know, shocking, shocking passing. Exactly. What can I say? Let's say she was actually making money. Let's say she was actually getting to her purpose of what she wanted. You think she'd have, she'd have been on that perky trail? Let's be real. She probably would have been too busy. She probably would have just been smoking weed and been like, nah, I ain't risking this shit, man. I'm getting money now. But nah, she getting a hold out, so she need the drugs. And it's like, man, it sucks, but it happens. And he got a number of young black children that's already on drugs when they show up. Based on their music and what they showing on social media. Not one drug, multiple drugs. So we don't get them in no counseling. We don't get them anger management. We don't, because I believe in these artists and I'm trying to give them a platform. So I, I just bring them up here and leave them up here to fall. I don't keep assisting them and I sign them. Mm, Gucci them true. so cold when Big Scar died, they even asked for the boy chain back. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's what Say I it belonged to the record label. Yeah, that happens often. That's not just 1017. Well, but go ahead. So how you so how you helping me to give me a Yeah, but the don't white man. A, don't say you a, like don't say you somebody who cares though. Don't say you somebody who was trying cuz they were trying to they were going back and forth. I remember the social media, I think it was Big Scar's sister, cousin or something was going back and forth with Gucci's wife and they were saying that like y'all asked for the chain back. Don't say you gave a fuck or sent money for the funeral like and Keisha was saying like, "Oh, well no. Uh that's just the label property. Don't say we didn't care. We tried to reach out. Y'all didn't want it because of the chain. And there was a whole bunch of drama about that. But don't say you care and then you do an action like that. Because actions speak louder than words and perception is everything. So you taking a dead man's chain back, regardless if it's a label property, it just sends a message that this shit was never loved. Bro, it was all I, I'm just saying, though, when, if the white man does it, all right, that's, well, it's, it's expected. But when the black man does it to another mm. black man and his family... Oof. Yeah, and we gotta, still listen to this man's music to this a, day. Got a bad look. Boy, Gucci should have been boycott since that day. Got a bad look. And man, you want to talk about anti-black? Be a platform. And as soon as I sign with you, I'm automatically in debt. Nah, Everybody knows soon as a rapper sign, he's automatically in debt. You get so a how deal. you that's alone? That's that right how? there. How you're gonna use Big me? We can't use me no more. Guess what? I'm thrown to the side. How you helping me? So I got to come up here and help myself. I got to come up here and learn. learn. I got to come up here and pay attention. I got to come here to do this. Because nobody's going to help you. They're going to use you. They're going to misuse you. They go oh, God. Bro, that's why a lot of people say be independent. Be independent is possible because if you let too many people do stuff for you, you will make nothing. It's best to do your own marketing, your own, like, goddamn financing and all that good stuff. You see what happened to Rihanna when she didn't do her own financing? Somebody got her for some money. Have you see what happened when you don't do your own artists. management? Somebody will get you for for your deals or your concert. You could have been making fifty k a concert, but you're only making twenty, and your manager keeping thirty k of it. That happens to the biggest, most notable artists, like bro. You wouldn't even believe it. It ain't a matter of size. It ain't a matter of how good your music is. It's just a matter of the business and are you paying mm -hmm. attention? Yeah, because an artist can be hot enough to be making about hundred k a show. And he could be getting paid that 100K, but let's just say the label is taking some out of that. Their manager's taking some out of that because, you know, manager fees and label, you know, they need that. They need that advance back, man. You know, they coming for that. Oh, or good news. you in blood. Exploit you. Yeah, but, but they're funding your career, though. It's uh, an investment. Sure. Uh, the thing about it is they know if you knew you would need them to fund your career. Facts. Because they're not funding your career. What did they fund for Enchanting? They gave her a necklace. Mm. That's it. She got a necklace. Mm. What did they fund for? That they probably took back when she passed. Still Bruh. time. What? 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 The music. Nah, what, what, show me one video when she was in the studio. What I think, she got a, I think she got a fifty thousand dollar advance. 
Okay. Only 50? Show me one. Show me one video where she's in the studio. Give us one of her songs. I don't. I don't. No I don't album. Do, I don't know mm, her. I know. Like I've been studying. Sean, she's from my city. Ooh shit. I saw Pooh Shiesty get the get the funding. I saw Fujiano. But where's mm. hers? Mm. You don't blame you don't blame the artists a little bit because of their hustle. Because if you get that platform like a Pooh Shiesty, he was one of them guys that took advantage that, listen, of homie, it at a time. I, I, I do blame the artists. You gotta take the it, I do it, blame it's, the artists. That's, that's, that's why I blame Cassie. Mm. I do blame the artists. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm bashing the dope fiend artist. That's why I say Cassie liked that. I do blame the artists. They I'm like it. She liked that though. Because it's oh, something, really? even though you're not getting no money, even though you're not getting the album, you're getting something in return. You're getting some man who beat on you who you think love you. Mm-hmm. So you learn to accept. So yeah, I blame the artist. So that's why I'm saying, y'all take it, don't be so hard on Puffy. Mm. Oh, it's wow. no difference. Whoa. Still abuse. <laughs> he been but go study that, that little girl page, homie. It's chilling. Go back two years, the the back of the hair on your neck is going to stand up because you're going to see maybe she was a sex worker too. Because all artists, their wives, their girlfriend, they all like they <sighs> sucked and played in too. Mm. And you, yeah. Mm. Be- be- before mm. she passed, uh, she signed a deal, a um, an OnlyFans deal. This is what I heard. An OnlyFans deal. This is the, one of the same deals Asian Doll recently signed. I met the owner. I met. I, I met the owner of, of OnlyFans. She didn't sign no deal. They just allowed her to come over in the platform to come do porn or whatever she want to do. But she didn't. She didn't sign a deal. Mm. That's a lie. Who Asian or Enchanting? Enchanting. No, Enchanting signed a deal with a uh, bankroll Freddy's old manager. His, I think his name is Jimmy. Homie, everybody know if you sign with a manager, you getting. F- that's mm. why you don't hear nothing from Baby C right. with Rainwater, all that. Everybody mm. knows if you signed it. Why you think she, why would you sign so a deal? This girl kind of came into the industry as a... Plaything? Yeah, I would just say a sexual exploit. And, you know, once she kind of got on the 1017, Gucci's People, Gucci's Connect, got in that circle, kind of entrenched herself a little bit further into the entertainment industry. She was further sexually exploited. To- 